This fly is so flipping disrespectful. Like, it tried to get my, my green tea. Hey, sweet sweets, I'm Lady Nadra. Welcome back to my channel for another vlog, another weekly vlog. Um, if you're just stopping by and you saw something that piqued your interest, welcome. I've heard that people are not really interested in your vlogs until you're established in this vlog life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get that, which um, I'm still working on that establishment, but um, I enjoy doing vlogs. I enjoy them and, and I thought, you know, I would stay true to what I enjoy about this versus it becoming something that, um, you know, becomes too heavy. You know what I'm saying? I want to enjoy what I'm doing. So at my big age, that's what I'm doing. In this vlog, you'll see my husband preached at Beacon Light, um, Beacon Light Church in Compton, and he's been doing this revival there for at least, I want to say at least 15 years, so um, 12 to 15 years, something like that, and we love them at Beacon Light, um, all the girls, all the, the <laughs> there's Stanisha, Twanisha, Trinika, and Kayla. <laughs> Those are Pastor Stan and Lady Teresa's daughters, and um, we love hanging out with them every year. So we went out there, and while I was there, we actually stayed in L.A. Um, just, you know, L.A.'s not far from us, but we decided to stay instead of driving back and forth every night. And so um, we went to Century City Mall, and then when I was on my way home, I stopped by I don't know what they call that that area in Pasadena on Colorado Street where there are uh, tons of shops and um, lots of shopping over there. So we st I stopped there on my way home and um, you know you'll see where I hung out with the kids a little bit. My nieces, two of my nieces and my two kids, um, we hung out and my three kids actually I should say because Tierra, my daughter in love, is now my kid. <laughs> I mean, just goes like that, right? So, um, we all hung out, went to lunch. We hung out with my mom and then we went to lunch. And then, um, which you can see, if you want to see more of that time or the time I spent with my mom, you can find that over on my Glorious Alzheimer's uh, series, which is here on my channel. But um, it was episode 14 where we hung out with my mother. And then, um, what else did I do in this vlog? Oh, um, I got in a few new pieces. Um, actually, one in particular that I was really excited about. Real excited about. You guys will see <laughs> at the end of the at the end of the vlog. You'll see. I mean, bomb, bomb. Well worth it. All right. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy this this vlog. And here we go. Drake. Oh. <laughs> What's up? What's what up, up, cutie? Man? What up? <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is the first Sunday in October. I can't believe we're all the way in October, y'all. <laughs> I mean, this is bananas how, you know, fast this year just rolled by. Anyway, today's look is I'm going to wear my Francis Gray hat. Um... I'm probably wearing this hat to death, but I'm wearing it. It is what it is. Um, I'm wearing this button down, this white linen button down that I got from Zara um, earlier this summer. And um, these pants, these cargo pants are from um, ABI Project. Um, on, I found them on Instagram. And I'm loving the pants. Now, I did get the largest size in these pants, which is, um, I think, a, like a 15, 16, something like that. They were made in Italy, so they are small. <laughs> um, so small that I really can't even button them up in the, in the waist. So I just kind of tucked and rolled 
that's what's going on under here. And so, um, yeah. But the pants are super long, super long, and they are, um, they have a little stretch to them, but they're just cut way too small. So, again, I wear like a 14 pants, and I got, I call myself getting, I think I got a 16. I call myself sizing up, and they're still way too small. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I can to even take them to the tailor to get them, you know, to fit. I don't know. I just have to figure it out or make it work like I did today. All right, so on my waist, on my hip, rather, I have on this belt from Akofi. I got this when I was in Atlanta last week. And I've been enjoying this little bag. This will be my bag for today. Um, you know, it has this pocket here. Right here, I can just stick everything in there and be good for the day. My keys, my wallet, and my lip gloss. That's normally what I carry with me on a daily. Um, I got uh, my mixed metals earrings on today, which I kind of could have used a little bit more silver in my outfit up top, but I don't have much. So um, I'm going to look into getting, I have my mixed metals on my arm, my arm candy today, <laughs> which is my normal zhuzh, my Fendi watch, my mixed metals Fendi's, Fendi watch. And I'm, my bracelets are downstairs. So I could have used something nice and chunky and silver on this arm. But I don't have much. So I'm going to have to look into, you know, stepping up my silver game just for days like this. Especially because, let me take you guys down from here. Especially because I got these boots. Now these boots are from Only Maker. And the heel is extremely high. Um, I'm not sure how these boots are gonna do. I put a little lidocaine <laughs> cream on my on my feet today, so to help me out. But I wanted that silver to peek out from under these pants. You guys see how long the pants are? They are super long, and I I love long pants because I'm a tall-ish girl. I'm five eight, and um, and I, I normally would say I'm tall, but <laughs> I'm not really tall. Um, my daughter-in-law is like 6'10". Daughter in love, she's like 6'10". Um, I'm 5'10". My friends, um, I got a, let's see, Sharice is like probably about 5'11". Uh, uh, Lynette is 5'11". Uh, Tanya is probably about, I don't know, 5'11". Maybe 6 feet. I don't know. These girls are tall these days. Whew, Morgan is riding with me to church this morning and she's making me late. You know, <laughs> I was just like, come on girl. I've been waiting for her, like riding her for the last at least 12 to 15 minutes. Like get out the door, come on. Then she comes out and then, oh, I gotta go back. <laughs> I mean, like, come on, what are you doing? Banana pudding cheesecake right yes. there. This is a vanilla cookies and cream cupcake. Um, 
a seven up cu cupcake and a blue velvet cupcake. Blue velvet? Yes. That's gonna make your mouth turn colors. <laughs> and then And that's what? Peach cobbler cake. Peach cobbler cake. Peach cobbler cake. Peach cobbler cake that's gonna taste the same, but it's all turned over now, but it's gonna be good. It looks like everything turned over. The blue velvet cake. Mm -hmm, they did. Everything besides your Except for the So which one is mine? This one. What and then that? I got that you sounds this. good. I got you this one. They were out of everything because the day is over, huh? Yeah. It's Sunday. Everybody came. <laughs> I'm sure right after church. I think I'm going to. You want some of mine? No. <laughs> and then when we left for mine outside, it's going to be like really, really crazy. Really? Um, Y'all going to be mad? So, I don't think I've talked to you guys today. Today is Monday. Right now we're at Sage, and I got the three wing platter, and he got the chili cheese fries. Uh, Mark is preaching out in LA. Um, this is the last night today. Monday is the last night. And so we've been staying over here at the Marriott um, by the airport since last night and we leave tomorrow. So we are um, just kind of hanging out, you know, a little staycation, you know, never hurt nobody. So we're, um, I just start, I just turned on Dahmer for him to start watching it. And I'm going downstairs to get it. Um, Get some chips. Um, oh, lobby. Thank you. I'm up here at Beacon Light with three of my favorite girls. Y'all what do you do? Y'all really look alike in the camera, like really. And look alike on the camera. We with our favorite girl too. <laughs> That's me. That's it's me. a celebration every time we So when Mark and I woke up this morning, we turned on the TV and um, <clears throat> there was a, a high speed chase and I think they were on the 605 at a certain point and then they got on the 10, but I think either on the 605 or the 10, they ended up having an accident. Um, it was a black BMW. They couldn't tell at first if it were two people or one, but when they start they let down the window and start throwing stuff out the car on the passenger side. I think they were then safe to assume that there were two people in the car. And then, um, uh, finally, then the, one of the tires 
um, I guess, I don't know. They lost one of the tires and they were just on the rim. They drove like 60 and 70 miles per hour on the rim. Eventually, of course, sparks were flying. Smoke was coming from under the car and sparks were flying. And then finally the rim, whole, the whole rim and everything started just shredding and shredding, shredding. You could see it like, you know, flying all over the freeway, hitting the other cars and stuff like that. I've been so pissed. Like if I'm on the freeway right now, you know what I mean? And just stuff started just coming at my car and mess up your paint job all that kind of stuff you know and that's just on you but um i think we watched probably about a good 30 minutes we watched them pursuing that car and um once he lost the tire he kind of you know lost the you know control of the car even though he was going fast he couldn't do a lot of turning and stuff so he had to stay on the freeway you know to keep from um he did get off a couple times but he got right back on and because it was hard to turn you know without all four wheels and it was the front so man you just got to be careful you got to be driving for you and then some some foolish like that happened somebody hit you he did like a pit maneuver on on the car that was in front of him to get it out the way you know he's just driving along in traffic like i am now and somebody come behind you and just hit you and, and take off oh my god <laughs> i mean crazy crazy and so it, it ended up being two guys. It looked like it was a black guy and a Hispanic guy. Or a real light skinned guy. But they got out once the car, they ended up, because they couldn't use their brakes, you know, they ended up hitting the back of this big rig truck. And um, they got out and started running. You know, be like, uh oh. On the side of the freeway, it looks like a little homeless community. I see ambulance and just dang, I need to get home. <laughs> I think I just need to get home. I guess she was in line and she got out of line. So when I walked up, I stood in the line where the where the ropes were and I guess she was off shopping. So she just, when the cashier finished with the um, customer, she just flounced up in front of me. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, I'm in line. And she said, oh, I was in line too. I was just shopping while she was ringing her up. I'm like, well, then you weren't in line, you know? And she said, yeah, I was in line. And so then she, she puts all this stuff on the counter. And then she goes, well, did you want to go first? I said, yes, I only have one item, so I'm going to go first. I'm like, please. There's people out here. Hi. Hi. I don't want to, um have no fight out here in Pasadena and I'm out here by myself but <laughs> y'all know I'm not gonna fight nobody especially not for no place in line but I just thought that was rude so 
I made it home, y'all. Oh, and I um got a surprise from the mask collections. It says thank you. We are beyond grateful that you decided to shop with us. Thank you for your order. XOXO Robin. Now Robin, I mean, she blessed me with this. This was gifted to me. Um and I'm thankful, so, so, so thankful. Robin is my new friend. I met her at Woman Thou Art Loose, and um, she has the mask collections. And um, I'll put the, the information, her IG and Facebook information, as well as her website information on the screen. And um, yeah, let me put you guys up a little bit, cut myself off. And, um, <clears throat> but this outfit, that I saw, I think this is what she sent me. Let me open it before, before I get ahead of myself. <clears throat> I think she sent me this outfit that I really, really liked on her page. Yes, this is it. So it's like a onesie. I had something like this and I pray my boobs won't not let me be great, but <clears throat> it's a onesie. And it has this little detail in the seat. I thought it was too cute. How about I just put a picture, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop a picture of what it looks like on, on the screen. But this was super cute on, on her page. Um, I see myself styling this a few di different ways. I had another one that I got at this boutique in LA. I can't remember the name of it, but <clears throat> yeah, my throat, my throat is, I think it's just cause I've been overly, is it a fly in here? It's a, it's a fly, it's a fly. Wait. <sighs> I'm normally really good at getting flies, but this one popped up on me. I'm gonna get him. Anyway, um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying, but the mask collections. Um, there's also this dress that she said she was getting in that I want. Check her out, y'all. The mask collections. And I'm assuming if you send her a picture, she might be able of something that you're looking for, she might be able to get her hands on it. Just uh, give her give her a shout out. Um, the rest of the stuff I got in the mail are bills, but I will show. Oh, let me show you what I got from from uh, Free People. Okay, <laughs> I had to get the fly. I got him. I just used got my home defense and I sprayed him. Cause he was a big, fast one. He was in his prime, y'all. He was in his prime. He was in his prime. <laughs> okay. So what I got from Free People was a pair of pajamas. These are super soft. So I'm finding myself, you know, my routine has been I get up in the morning, go to the gym, go run my errands for the day, you know, whether that be just you know, household errands or hanging out with my mom or that kind of thing. And then I come home and I normally would put on like a, some type of house dress or house clothes and, um, you know, just be hanging around the house. So that's what this is for. Um, I purchased a few things. Actually, I got a couple pair of skims from Nordstrom when I went yesterday with Mark, but these, are just some long pants. You guys see they're kind of um, trans, let's see, what is it, translucent? <laughs> no, so you can see they're kind of see-through. Um, so that'll be kind of sexy, you know, and I walk through and Mark, you know, is in here. It's a whole outfit and it's kind of turtleneck. So this is for, um, you know, when it cools down some more. I won't be wearing that until it cools down because it's long sleeve as well as high neck. Um, but 
I thought that would be cute to be walking around here in, you know. Um, also, I got this cute hat from Free People. Um, I thought it was cute. My shades on. You know, that's a cute look, right? When it cools down, these are fall pieces, fall winter pieces. I thought this was adorable and I could wash it. It has a fleece lining so to keep my head warm, which is what I'm after these days. Also, this choker that I've been seeing on all the girls from Zara. Y'all, Zara is, um, I gotta talk low like this because it hurts when I talk full voice. But Zara, um, they've been having all the good chokers and chokers are definitely all the rave this season. Then I got this um, cardigan or oversized cardigan. You guys know oversized stuff is in, it's definitely trending. And so, um, let me see how I'm gonna show y'all this. Let me turn it this way, and then I'll back up. But this denim detailing, so oversized stuff is in, denim is absolutely in. Um, wait, is it two flies? Oh my God, because I know I got that other one. Wait a minute. Okay, it's two flies, two big ones. How did they get in here? Anyway, this sweater, y'all, is so flipping yummy. Like, look at this denim detailing on the front. Um, it's so super soft and it has the splits on the side with um, kind of like the fringe at the bottom. Not really fringe, but you know, frayed ends. Purposefully done. I thought this, I could, you know, this would be cute like with all black underneath or um, some jeans or, um, let's see what else. I mean, I, I'm, I could style this up a myriad of ways, but I, find, I know I'm gonna be throwing this on. A lot. I know I am. Isn't this darling? I love it. So, um, let me get this other fly together because he can't live in my house. You know, I try not to bother the bugs that are outside, but once they come into my house, into my home, you know, I'll let, you, I'll let you slide when you're outside, but not in here. You gotta go. Okay, so this is really a dress. I thought it closed in between, but it doesn't. It's a dress. It open. It stays open. That's cute. Um, with a boot. You know? That's cute. I like it. I do, I like it. This fly is so flipping disrespectful. Like, it tried to get my, my green tea. <laughs> I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Super disrespectful. You have to get out. Oh, I sprayed him, I sprayed him, I sprayed him, I sprayed him. I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went, but he's definitely sick. He's wherever he went, he, he's sick.
Hey y'all, sorry that it's uh, kind of dark, but it's early. I gotta take my mom to the doctor and um, this is what I'm wearing today. It's cool right now, but I have to hurry up and get home because it's not that gonna be that cool all day. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm taking advantage of this. I'm wearing my sweater from Free People um, with the denim uh, trim. I'm wearing my hat. This hat is from Free People and it has a fleece lining, which you guys don't judge me. Really, my head gets cold with this, you know, being a ball baddie and all. My head really does get cold. So, I'm wearing this and like I said, I just got to hurry up and get home. <laughs> you know, cut the day short because I'm sure it's going to be hot later on. But right now, it's like, when I looked, it was like 57. So, um... Um, then I have on my dress from Aritzia, this ribbed knit dress, and then I got my nerves because my, all my legs are out, and I have on my, um, LV slides. Alright, so this is my look for today, Monica Benedict around my neck, this is the curved Dea chain, I have on my Gucci shades from Off Saks Fifth. And my mixed metals on today. So this is the look. I'm running out. Peace. And I always forget to share with you guys what fragrance I'm wearing. So today, I put on Baldia Freak lotion right out the shower. The body cream right out of the, right out of the shower. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same fragrance today. And I think I'm just going to keep it simple. Keep it right here. Keep it locked with Baldia Freak. <sighs> Good morning, y'all. So today is uh, Thursday, and I'm over here to get my mom and take her to her podiatry appointment. She's um, normally goes every six months, but I think it's been a little bit longer than six months. Um, nonetheless. Um, I'm gonna pick her up and take her over there. Maybe get a little, a little something sweet. She likes some, some, you know. She likes sweets. So, open up, y'all. Open up. You ready to go with me? Yeah. You ready to go with me? Yeah. Come on. You and me shall never part. I think he died. He did. He died. Me and you, girls. Me and you. <laughs>
today we had a great um, afternoon. See, I got on my crop top trying to be fast. No, I had this on earlier. I had this on over. But um, yeah, we, we had a great afternoon. Um, my niece, my oldest niece, Spring, is here. Oh, let me answer this call. Anyway, um, my oldest niece, she lived here. She moved to Dallas last year, Dallas, Texas last year. So she's there and um, her other grandmother is sick. So she's out here to visit. And um, she has to pick her up this morning and take her to see my mom. So, um, I did and I told Jalen and Morgan and Summer that that's what we were doing so um, and Tierra so they all came with and we had a good time <laughs> it was so funny I think I showed you guys I um, I let them handle my mom getting her blood drawn today and um, all the things that that went with that it was so funny to, to me. I chuckled within myself. Because um, after I checked her in, I told Jalen, I said, oh, okay, here, you handle you handle this. You take mom in there and let her, you know, help her through the experience of getting her blood on. And so, you know, Mr. EMT. <laughs> so he was like, oh, okay. So he goes in. <laughs> And he couldn't even get her to sit down at first, but I I just didn't go in. I let him tell me about it. I didn't go in. Uh, and so I did go peek my head in there. And when I peeked in, he was sitting there rubbing her back. And uh, now first she was sitting next to Spring um, and the baby. She was sitting next to them. And she got up. And I guess... She, uh, my mom had peed on herself. So, Spring said, I think she peed. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, you know. We were right next door at Kaiser, so I knew as soon as we finished that, we were gonna um, be done, you know. So, I said, okay. So, Jalen had taken her in there, all ready to get her blood drawn, and, um, he said uh, she peed again when um, when they stuck her to you know get her her blood. I guess they couldn't get it out of the first vein, so they had to try the second arm, and uh, they were able to get it. But it must have hurt or something because she jumped and um, she wet herself a little bit. So. And they're like, oh, she peed on herself. I'm like, okay, guys. I mean, there's nothing really we can do about that except for take her back. Yeah. And, um, you know, she's good. But it's, it was so cute. We took her back and took a few pictures with her. And um, we got ready to leave. We said, okay, Mom, you're going to go inside now. And she was like, I don't want to go in. It was so cute. I'm like, oh. She's never done that, you know. I told her we would come back. Her birthday is coming up, so we'll all go back, um, you know, but I just wanted them to have that experience with her so that they can know, you know, first of all, so they can know what to do when it, if it's ever my turn, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I want them to know what's all involved in caring for you know, mama, cause they'll all just let me do it, you know? And they probably still will let me just do it, but at least they'll know or have seen a part of what you, what I'm doing. Jalen was like, oh yeah, I take my hat off to you. He said, mom, uh, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. You know, when it's time to sit down, just sit down. 
Today is Saturday the 8th and I'm headed to do my mom's hair. Actually, I'm going to the gym because I've only been once this week and um, it was a thought to just let <laughs> this week pass and say, oh, I only went once and um, start over on Monday, but nope, I'm going today. So I've gone twice this week. <laughs> and I'm going now because if I don't go this morning, then I won't go. I thought about doing my mom's hair. It's like easy to put stuff in front of. Hi. It's easy to put stuff in front of um, the gym, you know? So I'm like getting myself together, getting my, my mind right because I've been going consistently. And... Um, we weren't home over the weekend, so I didn't go. But then my thought was to go when I came back. And I, I went that one day, and I half worked out that day. So this is more for me, you know, to, to keep my focus that I'm going today versus it really counting for the week, you know. But I'm going to open the gate. Um... I'm going to go today, work out, and then go do mama's hair. And then I really plan on heading back here to the house. Um, Morgan claims that she doesn't have anything to wear tomorrow. It's Founders Day at church, so you know, they're doing the whole program for, for Pastor and I. And um you know, she got to look nice too, so. We'll figure that out. Um, she probably could have wore her woman to woman suit. I'm going to see if she got that clean. back from the gym well from doing my mom's hair in the gym and um, all the things that I had to do today and I got a parcel this box says Steve Madden so I'm assuming these are my sparkly boots and y'all I've only seen them online so um, I don't know what they look like in person, what they feel like. I was just trusting all the girls that Janae and politics and fashion. And I think G, they all got them from Steve Madden. So I ordered mine. Um, my Steve Madden, I thought they closed, but they didn't close. They are um, under, I guess they moved. They're still in South Plaza but they moved so 
Um, let's see what's, what's happening here. I did get like a size and a half too big. Okay, so I, I like this part already. Cause it, oh, this feels, oh, like this feels so substantial guys. Like, I, got, I don't know who the, the actual, cause these are knockoffs. So I don't know, or replicas or not replicas. These are, what do they call them, dupes? But um, I don't know who the original ones are by, but these feel good. Okay, I see what they were talking about so far. So there's like a PVC, very soft though, PVC pump inside. So let me try these on. It's kind of like, these feel expensive. Mm, it's like a felt or something on the bottom to keep it from sliding. And when I tell you this is heavy, Expensive guys, and the heel is cute. It's not real high. It's cute. Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing how cute this boot is now? This part might bug me if I was wearing something short. This part that's digging into my thigh meat. <laughs> but, oh my God, these, you guys, they feel so good. Now, I did get a size up. I got a 12. I saw that they had a 12, so I'm like, let me grab the 12 because the PVC part inside, I figured with it being a, a dupe, it might be hard, but it's not. Um, but, whoo, this thing is fire. I don't know if the seam is straight on the back of my leg. I don't think it is. This thing is so fire. I gotta go find some outfits. And, see, I'm not really a shoe girl. So when I buy a shoe, it, I buy the shoe to go with the outfit. I rarely buy that the shoe and find the outfit to go with the shoe. I figured I could do something with this, but I'm gonna have to do like, so I'm gonna have to come correct. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause this thing is fire. Oh my God. Like you can see my toenail polish through it. And oh, this is so fresh. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. What I'm gonna do y'all. Like I wanna wear it tomorrow, but my outfit. Yeah, this won't go in my outfit for tomorrow. But jeez, this is banging. I mean, and I could shout in these if I needed to. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Let me show y'all the how it looks from the from the um from the top. Look at that. So you can see the PVC in the camera, but when I'm looking at it in um in person, the PVC doesn't really show. This is banging. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, so happy Sunday. I think I already said that when I was doing my makeup. Um, here's my final look. I have on my Tom Ford, uh, like nude shades. I have on, uh oh, I don't know the name of the lipstick. It's, um, I'll put it on the screen. It is a pink by Fenty uh, liquid lipstick. I have on these earrings by Trelawney Jewelry, um, um, an online. Instagram brand. This is hot. This vest is by I'm Yen Wen. Actually, it's a suit. This pants suit. It's a pants. Pants. I didn't put on the blazer today just because I knew I would be hot. But the pants have a blazer that match. And um, but it's very. Uh, the button is very low. Um, I had my boobs taped last time, but that's not practical for church. So I just decided to put on this pink. Um, just top from long sleeve, kind of sheer esque top from uh, Zara, and um, the vest again is with the suit. It came with the suit from Am um, um Yenwen. 
I'll put the name of that on the screen as well so you'll get the spelling right. Um, my shoes are from Only Maker and they're not fastened if you in case you see that. <laughs> they're not fastened. They are um, pretty comfortable. I just can't fasten them myself. Um, yeah, I'm hot. I'm going to go take this off. Oh, my bag for today is this um wallet on a chain from which the chain is tucked in i'm just gonna clutch it out today uh -oh. clutch it out today and this is my look happy sunday mm -hmm.